Hey folks, this is Dr. Don, and I have a problem out of chapter 11 in the McClave text, and it's 11.3.32. It has to do with understanding and finding and using uh, some of the error terms that you get in the regression. And I want to, again, encourage you and urge you not to memorize these formulas and not to do a long Excel spreadsheet finding these these values of the sum of the squares error SSE, the variance S square, or the standard deviation of the model S. Let the software give the answers. When they ask you these questions, they will either give you one of two options. They will give you an icon and you click on that and it will open up a table with the data, the, the X data and the Y data that you will need to run your own regression. Or B, they will give you an actual printout or screenshot of an output of some statistical software with that information. Either way, you'll be able to get the SSE, the S square, and the S directly from that information. In this problem, they gave us the output from some software. I don't know what software they used. It might be Minitab. But anyway, uh, looking at the software output for regressions, they're, they're similar. And in this case, the part we want to look at is the analysis of variance, the NOVA part down at the, the bottom on this output. And in particular, we're interested in the error row. It's labeled residual error there. It may be just residuals or it just could be errors depending upon the printout. And we're going to look at the number that I have highlighted in yellow here. This is the sum of the squares error, SSE, which is one of the values that they want you to have. So it gives you that in the printout. That's the sum of the square error, SSE. Next to it in pink is mean square error. Mean square error, MSE, is the same thing as the variance, which is S square. And that gives us S square, the variance. The standard deviation or the standard error of the model is just the square root of this number, like it is with every variance and standard deviation. And they give you that up here in this row. There is S, our standard deviation or our standard error, 18.35, which is a square root of 337. So look for those things on these printouts. Let me just show you real quickly here. This is a printout from StatCrunch. It's not of the same data since they didn't give us the data in that uh, problem. I couldn't replicate it. But this is a, a the regression printout from StatCrunch, and you have the same information there. Here, there's our SSE, some of the square error, our MSE, which is the variance, remember again, 1.759, and if we take the square root of that, we will get the estimate of the standard deviation, which is S, or our standard error there in green. So, half heart, don't crunch those big equations, let the software do the work for you. Hope this helps.